In this video, I'll be explaining how you can customise your stakeout reports using Magnet Field 3.1. From the main screen of Magnet Field, we go into Configure Stake Reports, and we can see here that we have the five default reports already in the job. Now we'll simply create a new one by going Add, and we'll just give this a name. There is five different report types you can use, Point, Line, Arc, Road, slope and surface. All of these report types have their own default options that can be utilised in the report and I'll be explaining how you can configure these reports to suit your work needs. I'll be focusing on the point report type and we can see here that just by simply ticking the box next to the item you can remove it from the report. You can also move the items up and down by simply hitting the up and down arrows to put them in an order that is appropriate for your work requirements. Configuring your reports in this manner is a good way to have a standardised reporting system throughout all of your jobs that you will conduct, no matter whether they be a simple point stakeout or a road stakeout. We can also select an item and hit edit and we can change the name of the item description. We can also set tolerances for the job in terms of the accuracy required. These tolerances are set by northing, easting and elevation and to activate these we simply hit the tick box next to the appropriate one and in this case we're giving an accuracy of 20 mil. Once you are happy with these tolerances simply hit the green tick and then the green tick again and your report configuration will be saved. Hit the green tick again to go back to the main menu. And now we will go into edit, reports, stake reports. In this stake reports list we can see the five different types of stakeout reports that can be used and also the configuration that it is going to use for either a point, road, line for example. This is what we need to change in order to use your new customised stakeout report format. We'll simply add a new stake report and the report type will be point and you will see that the configuration we created will be an option. If we change to a different report type, line, you will not see the configuration just created because we have told it it is a stakeout point configuration. Once you are happy, simply hit the green tick and you'll go back to the stake report screen and we can simply hit view. We can see here that all the items that were selected are here in the order that has been set by the user and also the edited names. We will now go stake out a point to show you how you will do this in the field once you have set up your configuration reports. We simply go into stake and then points. We select the design point that is to be staked out and enter the antenna height also. We can change the stake report configuration down the bottom left by hitting the three dots. And here we have the two options of the stake configurations that can be used when staking out a point. We simply hit next to the configuration that we want and a green tick will appear. And once happy, you can simply hit the green tick and go back to the point screen. If we hit the top right button, which looks like a list, you will see that you have horizontal distance tolerance. Note that this tolerance is just purposely for the stakeout itself. This has no effect on the report tolerances that were set previously. From the stake point screen, we now simply hit stake. Now we will stake out our point. Once you are happy with the position of the point, simply hit save. And we can see here by scrolling down and looking at the miscloses of the stakeout, we can see that we are under the 20 mil tolerance set for northing, easting and elevation and intolerance has come up yes. And when you're happy, simply hit the green tick. If we try and store a point that is outside the tolerance, first of all, when we hit save, we will not only get the horizontal distance tolerance warning, and you can either hit yes or no. If you hit yes, you will still be allowed to store the point. And we'll see here that the residuals are outside the 20 mil set. And that's why intolerance says no.
From the Sake Out screen, you can simply hit the magnet symbol and then view report to view the current stakeout report in the configuration that was set previously. All the points that have been staked out will show up in this report. If we simply hit back and the home button, we'll go back to the main screen. And from here, we will go into exchange and then to file, ensure that data is stakeout reports. And you have two options of format. CSV file or a PDF file. PDF is the most commonly used reporting format. Once you have selected the format, simply hit next. Once you hit next, select the report type, in this case point, and hit next. Select the report type, which is test, and hit next. Give the PDF file a name and save it in the appropriate location. Simply hit the green tick to save the file and you'll see export successfully completed. This report can now be saved onto a USB drive to be given to the appropriate staff or from the field you can ensure that you are connected into Magnet Enterprise and we can upload the file straight from the field back to the office. And to do this from the main menu we go into Exchange Enterprise Upload. We select the inbox that we want to send the file to. To select the PDF file, go Add and then locate the file in the directory saved. Once you are happy with the files that you want to be uploaded, simply hit Upload and Upload Successful. And now the stakeout report has been sent back to the office, ensuring that a fast workflow of reporting the field work can be done in an efficient manner, which will save time and money 